So you wanna know how I got my CDL and what I did after I got it? Check out the video. Girl, what you mean you don't recognize me? I'm only the biggest rap star in your apartment complex. <laughs> And another one. My nigga knocks on the beat. Uh, and another one. Yo, yo, yo. Hustle Gang, Hustle Fam, how's everybody doing? Everybody else on YouTube, if you ain't a part of the family, get down with the family, like, subscribe, and share. You now already know what it is. But um, yeah, man, I wanted to come to y'all, talk to y'all for a minute. A little bit of motivation, a little bit of inspiration. So I want to talk to those of you who are thinking about getting into this life. Thinking about trucking, whatever it may be, company driver, lease driver, owner operator, whatever, whatever your path may be. I can't stress to y'all enough that there's no time like the present. Nobody's promised tomorrow. The past is already history. It's so, so important and vital that you pursue your dreams now. Do it now. Like, I get a lot of guys that come up to me and talk to me or ask me questions. You know, hey, you know, what did it take to get your CDL? And uh, how long did it take? Where did you study? Uh, did you go to school? Or just, just a, a whole lot of different questions that I get. And honestly, like, yeah... The way I did it wasn't the conventional way, I guess. Um, but the way I did it is that I, I did go to school. I went to uh, Miller Mott uh, Technical College, whatever they call it. Um, but they had a little CDL program and cost me four bands. There's programs that are cheaper and there's programs that are that cost more. This particular program happened to work for me. You know, they, they taught me what I needed to know to get my CDL. But before I even went to school, I went ahead and got my permit. And in order to get your permit, you gotta pass your, uh, your general knowledge, uh, your combination, and your air brakes. They give you, if you go to the local uh, DMV, RMV, whatever they call it in your state, you go there, they're gonna give you a book book is about that thick it's got a whole lot of information on it in it that I'm pretty sure that you'll never memorize so what I did you know is I I googled and YouTube ways to study for my permit without having to read that whole entire book I know a lot of old school drivers will probably hear me say that and say oh my god you don't really know what you're doing you don't know all the rules and regulations this now blah 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 I guarantee you can't none of them recite every single DOT law. Don't listen to them. Study the way, like I said, the way where I went to go and get my CDL, my, my knowledge, for my permit, there's a website called Christ CDL. I'll uh, I'll link it down in the description after the video. But um I went to Christ CDL, they got so many different practice tests on there for any kind of license you want for any endorsement that you want so what I did is I went on there and I studied and I will not study but I did my practice test over and over and over like I think general knowledge I think they had like 15 practice tests on there air brakes they had like 10 practice tests on there in combination I think they had like seven or eight but um what I did was I just went through each and every test until I scored a hundred percent and that I was confident that I could remember the answers to the questions to every single practice test that they got. Uh, and I did that for about a week strong. And when I felt like I could remember it, I went straight down to the DMV, knocked out all my tests. And there wasn't not one question that was on the test down at the DMV that wasn't on one of those practice tests. So I went ahead and got my, my, my permit. I went ahead and knocked down my hazmat my tanker, doubles and triples. I, I knocked down all my endorsements, all of them, because you'll need those. Because if you do pass your tests and whenever you wanna get out here for whatever company it is you're gonna go to, the more endorsements you have, the more valuable you are. 
Yeah, the more valuable you are, the more endorsements you have. And it gives you, it, opened up, it opens up this world a whole lot more for you. You have a lot more options on where you want to go. After I got my CDO, I went to uh, a local company called YRC, uh, YRC Freight, the Yellow Roadway. Uh, they're, they're known by so many different names. But um, I went there. Typically, they don't really look at new applicants, but I mean, new, uh, new drivers fresh out of school, but um, they're, they are willing to work with you. If you. As long as you have your hazmat endorsement already and a clean driving record, they're willing to work with you. So if you want to get your CDL and you don't want to go over the road and you got family at home, look into some smaller local companies, YRC, USF Holland, uh, ABF, XPO, uh, ACT, all these LTL companies that are local, SIA, EPS, uh, not EPS, but SDs, uh, what's the other one? Uh, CT Transport, all them local companies, all them local LTL companies, RNL carriers, most of those companies will work with a new driver fresh out of school. As long as you got your hazmat, your doubles and triples, and, uh, and uh, a clean driving record, you know, not more than one ac one or two accidents within the past three years. Clean background, clean piss test, you in the door. You know what I'm saying? Just keep going up there, or you can apply online, but I would advise you, if, if that's really what you want to do, if you want to be local, then you want to go to that local branch every day, or at least once a week. Me, I went every day until they hired my ass. But, um, yeah. I went there, got my experience up, and when I felt like I was ready, I went ahead and bought a truck, and then I started doing my, my own operator thing. That's a whole nother story for a whole nother video on how that experience went for me in the beginning, but right now I just wanted to share with y'all this little bit of knowledge um, that I had on how I got my CDL and how I got my experience up without having to go OTR. So. Yeah, that's just a quick little gem I wanted to drop on y'all. I just parked the truck, about to be on home time for the weekend. I wanted to go ahead and knock this out before I got to the crib because I know the family's going to be all over me. I ain't going to have a chance to really talk to y'all. But um, I'll chop it up with y'all in another video uh, sometime soon, probably Monday, Tuesday. But uh, anyway, man, until the next video, uh, be safe, remain humble. And always hustle. I'll holler.